The fear surrounding the succession problem, real enough when the above was, cri was written, proved to be baseless. After Nehru's death in May, in May 1964, and a brief period of rule by Lal Bahadur Shastri, the apostolic succession pattern was reestablished with the accession, accession of the prime ministership of Nehru's daughter and Gandhi's nam namesake, Mr. Indira Gandhi. In the early phases of her re regime, the Congress lost ground and a series of upheavals on the state level led to the imposition of direct central government rule in several states. In May 1969, President Sari Hussein, a Muslim, died, threatening the Hindu-Muslim understanding within India and precipitating a, show, a showdown between Mr. Gandhi and the traditional Congress bosses, which Mr. Gandhi decisively won. Though faced with, con with continued upheaval un on the state level, Mr. Gandhi won a decisive victory in the general elections of March 1971, capturing undisputed control of the government. The Bangladesh revolt, perhaps the most dra dramatic and certainly the most successful primordial separatism in the new states so far, broke out later in the year, followed by Indian intervention and the, sword su and the short successful, successful war with Pakistan. With all this, the Congress' ability to keep India's multiple primordial groups under control was surely at least temporarily increased. But that the problem persists is clear from, the, from a wide range of events, stretching from the continuing Naga revolt in Assam to continuing Sikh, Sikh riots in Punjab. Indeed, the Bangladesh example may prove a two-sided one, a two-sided one for, for India in the long run, not only in Bengal itself, but elsewhere. In February of this year, 1972, the Dravidian Advancement Party launched a campaign for Tamil Nadu, an autonomous Tamil state in South India, drawing an open parallel with Bangladesh and accusing Mr. Gandhi of behaving like General Hajia Khan. Thus, though the increased strength of the Congress central government has for one moment somewhat cooled down India's multiform, multifront war against primordialism, it has very far from ended it. Lebanon Lebanon may be, as Philip E.T. has pointed out, not much larger than Yellowstone Park, but it is a good deal for more ast astonishing. Although its population is almost entirely Arabic-speaking and shares a generally Le Le Levantine ethos, it is rigidly partitioned into seven major Muslims, Sunni, Shia, and Druze, and Christian Maronites, Greek Orthodox, Greek Catholic, and Armenian Orthodox. Sects, sects, and about that many minor ones, Protestants, Jews, Armenian Catholics, and so on. A confessional heterogeneity that not only forms the principal public framework of individual self-identification, but is woven directly into the whole structure of, state, of the state. Seats in the parliament are allotted on a strike, strictly certain basis according to the demographic proportions that are fixed by law and that have remained, remained essentially unchanged, unchanged in the five elections held since independence. Paramount executive authority is not merely dissected, but 
trisected with the president of the country conventionally a um, Maronite, the prime minister a Sunni, and the chairman of parliament a Shi. Cabinet posts as are carefully doled out on a confessional basis and a similar balance is maintained in the civil service from ministry sec secretaries, districts, administrators and diplomatic posts as the way down to rank and file, uh, and file clerical jobs. The judicial system is equally a mess, a mess of religious pluralism with both the laws themselves and the courts applying, the, applying them varying as to sect. Finally, authority in personal law cases something some, sometimes lying outside the boundaries of the country altogether. Arab province and Christian outposts, outposts modern commercial entreposts and last relic of the Ottoman Milet system, Lebanon is almost as such an intent as a state. The sort of politics these intent supports are equally wondrous. Political parties, though formally present, may play as yet but a marginal, ro a marginal role. The struggle for pelt and power pivots instead around strong local leaders who tend to be either important abs absentee landlords or in the fr Free, freehold section of the country, heads of large and prominent extended families. Each of these factions, each of these factions, chiefs, whose following in ba is bound to to him is essentially traditional rather than ideological terms. The forms al alliance with similar faction chiefs from. Other locally represented sects yielding in the section campaign at the many hall sort of the of one Irishman, one Jew, one Italian ticket balancing. This process is encouraged by the device of having the entire electorate in any one district vote in all the local races regardless of sect. Those are Maronite voting in a district where there are also Sunni, Greek, Orthodox and Druze seats are stake shoes among the Sunni, Greek Orthodox and Druze candidates as well as among his own, the Maronity ones and vice versa. This in turn leads to the forming of composite lists through, through which the candidates in each sect attempt to link themselves themselves with popular candidates in other, in other sects so as to attack the necessary external votes. As lists as are rarely split because the possibility of a candidate making effective alliances rests on his ability to bring loyal voters with him. And because the average voters has little knowledge of candidates of other sects on, on which to base rational judgments of their world anyway. This means that although for any given seat Mar Maronite com competes, competes against Maronite or Sunni against Sunni or so on, it is actually lists that are elected. The electoral process does act to align certain leaders from the various sects over against certain other such leaders in such a way that polit political ties tend to cross out sectarian, sectarian ones. Members of different sects are driving into each other's arm, arms in interconfessional coalitions. Members of the same sect are driving apart into in, intra-confessional factions. Such calculated forging and breaking, breaking of alliances between significant political personalities is not confined merely to campaign tactics but, but extend over the whole of political life. Among the strongest leaders the same principles come into play with respect to the higher national offices. 
so that in example a leading Ma Maronite who considers himself a, as a possible president will attempt to align himself in public life with a leading Sunni who is aiming for the prime minister prim primership and so on both in order to gain Sunni support and, and to prevent his immediate Maronite uh, rivals for the presidency for from making so effective an alliance themselves. Similar patterns operate throughout the system as at every level and in every aspect of government. As such coalitions are so opportunistically rather than ideologically put together, they frequently dissolve, dissolve overnight as seems a seeming bosom companion, companions suddenly fall out and mortal enemies unite amid a storm of accusations and counter accusation of betrayal, corruption, incompetence and ingratitude. The pattern is thus fundamentally an individualistic, even egoistic, egoistic one, despite it, its grounding in traditional religious, economic and kinship groupings, which with each will be political power scheming to advance his career by a skillful manipulation of the system. Both places on tickets led by strong figures and votes themselves are bought. During the 1960 elections, the amount of money in circulation rose 3 million left. Rivals are slandered and, and on occasion physically attack, attacked. Favoritism, nep, nepo, nepotic or otherwise is accepted procedure and spoils the considerate the normal reward of office. There is no right in Le Lebanon. A Job's Mount Lebanon Druze said, say, there is only silver and the fix. Yet out of all this low cunning has come not only the most do democratic sta state in the Arab world, but the most pro prosperous and one that has in addition been able, with one spectacular exception, to maintain its equilibrium under intense centrifugal pressures from two of the most radically opposed extra, 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 extra primordial ear, yearnings extend, that of the Christians, especially the Maroni, Maronites, to be part of Europe, and that of the Muslims, especially the Sunnis, to be part of Pan-Arabia. The fears of these motives find finds expressions mainly in a so-called is, is, isolationist view, is, isolationist, isolationist view of Lebanon as a special and unique phenomenon among the Arab states, a nice piece of a mosaic whose distinctiveness must be jealousy conserved. The second, the second takes the form of a call for reunion with Syria. And insofar as Lebanese politics escapes at the merely personal and traditional and becomes involved with general ideas and issues, it is, it is in these terms that it tends to polarize. The one spectacular exception to the maintenance of equilibrium, the 1958 civil war and American intervention was in great part precipitated by just, by just this sort of atypical ideological polarization. On the one hand, President Shamun Hun's un unconstitutional attempt to succeed himself and presumably to align Lebanon more closely with the West in order to enhance Christian power against the rising tide of Nazarism exceeded, exceeded the ever-present Muslims' fears of Christian domination. On the, on the other, the, the sudden 
outbursts of pan-Arab enthusiasm stimulated by the Iraqi revolt, revolution and serious turn toward Cairo lead to the equally ever-present Christian fear as drawing in a Muslim sea. But the crisis and the, Amer and the Americans passed. Shams was at least temporarily discredited for driving the country. The Pan-Arabist The Pan-Arabist fever was also at least temporarily shaken by a renewed conviction, even within Sunni cir circles, that the integrity of the Lebanese state must at all costs be preserved. Civil rule was, was quickly restored and by 1960 a new election could be held peacefully enough, bringing back most of the old familiar faces to the old familiar stands. It seems therefore that Lebanese politics, as they are now constituted, must remain personalistic, factional, opportunistic and unprogrammatic if they are, if they are to work at all. Given the extreme confessional heterogeneity and the penetration of this heterogeneity throughout the entire organization of the state, any increase in ideologized, ideologized, ideologized party politics tend very quickly to lead to an unstable Christian-Muslim polarization over the pan-Arab issue and to the breakdown of the cross-sect links that in the course of normal political maneuvering divide the sects and unite if somewhat precariously the government. Machiavellian calculation and religious toleration are opposite sides of the same coin in Lebanon. In the short run anyway, the alternative to silver and the fix may very well be national dissolution. Though sorely tried by the continuation of the Arab-Israeli confrontation and especially by the appearance of the Palestinian commandos as an important political force in the area, the Lebanese nice piece of mosaic remains intact. Indeed, of all the countries reviewed here, Lebanon has continued to be the most effective in containing its deep primordial cleavages, and though harassed by economic difficulties by the presence of small radical groups of left and right, no major multi-sectarian multi parties have yet been able to form, and by frequent out outbursts of popular violence, the Lebanese political system continues to function about as it has since the end of, the, of World War II. Differences in view as to the appropriate attitude to take toward the Palestine commandos and some and toward Israeli incursions into the country have led to the fall of cabinets, extended governments, crisis and some realignment among the major, major sectarian groupings. In 1970, the Christians supported president won by only one vote over the Muslim backed opponent despite the unwritten rule that the post the post is reserved for a Manorite. But as the cabinet continues to be headed by a Muslim, the, the established arrangements persist and the government's authority vis-a-vis -vis the Palestinian commandos and their Lebanese supporters are increased, especially since the defeat in the com of the commandos by the Jordanian army in September 1970. Nothing lasts forever, especially in the Western Mediterranean, but to date Lebanon continues to be a proof that although extreme primordial diversity may make, may, may make political equilibrium permanently precarious, it does not necessarily, if an of itself, make it impossible.
मुर्सी